Greetings folks, DD Solar here. In this video I'm just going to briefly explain how grid tie inverters work. Also, I'm going to cover a few facts you ought to know before trying to use one in your home. In order to understand how a grid tie inverter works, you first need to understand AC voltage or alternating current. Unlike the DC or direct current that comes out of say a car battery, which is just a continuous current, continuous voltage, with a positive and negative polarity. AC voltage swaps back and forth rapidly between positive and negative, and it does this 60 times per second. This is known as 60 cycles per second or 60 hertz. AC and DC voltages do not behave the same in our different worlds altogether. So that's what's coming out of the outlet in your home. In North America we have 120 volts AC and that comes in at 60 hertz or 60 cycles per second. There are generally two main kinds of grid tie inverters available on the market. The first kind hardwires directly into the electrical box in the residence and usually that is professionally installed by an electrician and a professional company. Here on the right is an example of a plug-in grid tie inverter. Please watch my video about grid tie inverter safety before attempting to install or purchase a plug-in grid tie inverter. Plug-in grid tie inverters are very dangerous in the wrong hands and can literally burn your house down. So it's worth doing some proper research before purchasing or attempting to use one. This video is going to cater towards beginners who want to use a plug-in grid tie inverter because those are the easiest to get your hands on and of course they're the easiest to install. There are many responsible homeowners using plug-in grid tie inverters who know all the safety risks and do their homework. Okay, so I'm going to make this as simple as I can. When you plug an appliance into the outlet of a household, you get power coming out of the outlet and into the appliance. But a grid tie inverter does it backwards. It literally pushes power back into the wall outlet instead of taking it out. How does it accomplish this? Let's go back to the chart showing the AC sine wave. As the AC sine wave swaps back and forth between positive and negative, the polarity is really arbitrary and doesn't matter. It reaches a peak voltage, which is of course going to be much higher than 120 volts, but it doesn't really matter. The average voltage will be about 120 volts. When you first plug the grid tie inverter in, the microcontroller inside will read the AC line voltage and the frequency at which it is being produced. The first thing the grid tie inverter has to do is synchronize with that 60 hertz. Because if it were to put out a voltage that was not in sync, you would have voltage that was going between way too high and way too low and it would destroy your appliances. In other words, the AC sine wave the grid tie inverter produced would be out of phase with the sine wave that's coming out of the outlet of your home. Next, the grid tie inverter will take the solar power that's coming in from the solar panels and it will start producing an AC sine wave. Notice how the voltage displayed on the right hand side of this grid tie inverter's LCD display increased from about 114 volts AC to about 118 volts AC. Again, showing that it's pushing a much higher voltage than what is nominal on the circuit at the time. But the sine wave it produces will have a slightly higher peak voltage than the nominal peak voltage that's present in your home at the time. As you can see in the diagram, the peaks of each wave are slightly higher and this represents a slightly higher average voltage. So the average voltage is going to be higher and the peak voltage is also going to be higher. This happens on both sides of the sine wave. So you could also say that the grid tie inverter has started pushing a little bit of higher voltage or higher pressure into the wiring in the home. If you think of the line voltage as the pressure of water in a garden hose, this starts to make sense. The grid tie inverter is pushing a little bit harder than the utility company is pushing. And so what's going to happen is your appliances in the home are going to use up the power from the grid tie inverter first and then they will fall back on the power that's being provided by the utility power service. A side effect of this process is you may notice that the grid tie inverter, if it displays its output voltage, is pushing a rather high voltage. It could be 125 or 127 volts AC. And it's having to do that in order to make sure that your appliances are using that voltage first and then the utility company's voltage. So the end result is that the grid tie inverter is helping to run your appliances and it's reducing the amount of electrical draw that is taking place from the utility power company. And that is why people want grid tie inverters to reduce their power bill. The power company does not see quite as much utilization because your grid tie inverter is shouldering some of the load of running appliances in your home. In a nutshell, a grid tie inverter simply shoves some extra voltage back into the home to help support the appliances and reduce the load on the power company and also reduce your power bill. Please note that with plug-in grid tie inverters especially, there are a couple of risks that you should be aware of. The first is that they produce a much higher line voltage than what is normal on the line. And so some appliances which are sensitive or have poor regulation or no regulation at all could be harmed or cause damage. The electrical infrastructure in a typical home was never intended to have power forced back into it. It was only intended to distribute power outbound. 
Because of this, there's quite a few safety risks to using a plug-in grid tie inverter, and the hardwired ones are considered to be safer. If you decide to use a plug-in grid tie inverter, make sure it is plugged into a dedicated circuit and a dedicated outlet. I hope this video is going to help people who are looking to get into grid tie inverters and are doing their research. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you can. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.